pace is like 60 minutes. Morning. I'm trying to get myself in the right headspace because I have to go for a run today. I have to. If I postpone it any longer, I'm just gonna get out of out of it. It's been a week since I went running. And I've just not had the best week. I just feel like I I don't know, I've just not had the best week, but I'm trying to claw my way out of this space, this headspace. I really want this weekend to be filled with creativity and just getting things done and getting things done with my hands as well, like actually getting creative myself. Um, and we're gonna do it together. <laughs> Can you see how my left hip is so tight? Like that's as far as I can bring it up. But with this other leg, I can bring it to like here and easily you can do all sorts of things. This one, nope, that's where it gets. It's been like this for a long time. All right, let me go for this run. Wish me luck. Guess who went on her run? Ding, ding, ding. Me. Phew, I'm so glad it's over. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, although at some point I did start um, kind of crying because because I didn't want to be on the run and then as I was running um, someone like runs past me and I guess in just like casual runners camaraderie just does that and then just continues jogging like he doesn't even break his stride and I was just like <laughs> it's so hard I mean I didn't really get into it but I, I felt the tears coming and I just I was just like just keep going just keep running anyway I'm so glad that's over. I've got my earphones on because um, I'm ready to get out to the house and I was listening to a podcast. But I'm ready to go and get a few more bits that I need to <laughs> start the home statement wall, gallery wall project. <gasps> I can't even believe I'm doing it. But I've decided the time is now, okay? And I'm giving myself a statement, statement wall. And I'm doing it by myself. Well, as much as I can possibly do by myself. Because the electric, electrical work, I definitely can't do it on my own. Um, but we're going to figure it out. Or I'm going to figure it out. Uh, I just need a couple more things. So I have to go run out and get those. Wish me luck, you guys. Wish me luck. Before we dive into paint, which we will get to in just a moment. And fingers crossed, I picked the right paint. Because that job, that's hard. It's not easy. I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor. And that is... Skillshare. They have so kindly sponsored this video and I couldn't be more thrilled because I do feel like what they stand for is exactly where I feel that I am now and where I'm trying to go towards and what my intention was for this year and that is creativity, to create. Now, if you haven't heard of Skillshare before, it is an online learning community and essentially a haven for creatives. They've got all sorts of classes. I mean, everything they've got photography videography embroidery illustration embroidery have i said embroidery maybe interior design marketing productivity the ones that i'm more drawn to in general are the lifestyle classes they've got loads of stuff on interior design and not that i'm trying to become an interior designer but i i just well one i'm generally curious about it and for me, what I've also learned about myself in the last few months where I've just had like many dips, like high highs and low lows, is that creativity for me has been a refuge. It's been the thing, or at least one of the things that have helped draw me out of such, you know, like weird moods and just funks. Um, so to have a space that is built around that exploring expanding i am all here for now what you also need to know is that they have so kindly allowed for a thousand of my subscribers to get two months free trial of their premium membership and you would be surprised how many different classes there are it is there's a wealth of options i will leave a link in the description box i'm just gonna leave it here and i will see you at the end of the video for the final reveal
was that was a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> that was so easy. So I ended up getting two of these because I couldn't make up my mind. The first one I went for was this one. The shade, I will put it on the screen. I think it was terrestrial green or something of the sort. And I, when I saw it in the color chart, I was like, this is it, it's the one. But when it came out, I was like, it's not dark enough. This isn't it, it can't be. And I don't want a deep, dark forest green. I, I want something that is still very light and more like sage, the sage tone, and I think this is it. So I went back to the chart and I found another one and I think this one is called Tree Mountain Green. And so I think this is the one I'll end up going for. I did pay for both of these. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this um, pot of paint. But for now, uh, we're going to close her up. Oh my God. And we're going to pray that I didn't make a mistake. Uh, uh, the pressure. But you know, at the same time, it's also just a wall. I could just paint it again if it's not if it's not what my heart desires, if it doesn't sit quite right. It's just a wall. Yeah. Oh my god. Why is it splashing? It splashes? I have so many questions! I, I, uh, I'm a mess everywhere. Even my watch has splatter, paint splatter all over it. But it's okay because paint one is done and it looks really patchy and I'm a little bit nervous about that. But I think I have a clue as to how to go about the second coat. Oh my God, I, re I really love it. And I think the second coat will be more like it. Also on camera, is, is the camera too true to color? I don't know if it's true to color, but it's really interesting because what's on this roller is not what's on that wall. But what's on that wall looks really close to what I chose um, in the color sheet, the color sheet that I used to pick a color. Tea's on the kettle. About to have some tea, but before that, I wanted to show you guys something that came in. Ah, this. Oh no, I just said this. I didn't say this. <laughs> I got this from Prince Ke. Let me just confirm that that is their name. Yep, Prince.ke. I'll link them in the description box. And this was so kindly sent to me as a PR product. And okay, wait. Let me figure out how to open this properly. that I ordered those are not my prints those are some family photos <laughs> whoops okay let me call the writer real quick <sighs> time for the second coat fingers crossed it looks even sexier it does look brighter now than it did before does it 
it okay it definitely looks brighter on camera than it does in person that's what I'm noticing but it's because of the light and I guess before adjustments are made um, but yeah round two <laughs> Oh. <gasps> yes, the second coat? Yeah. yeah. It was all in the second coat. And understanding yeah. your boundaries, understanding. Yeah. And even forgiving each other. All right, today is paint hanging day. Paintings? <laughs> Paintings are going up the wall today. Um, and I don't think that will work anymore. I think that might end up being maybe in the bathroom I'm not sure but I'm including oh I didn't even I didn't even tell you guys that I got the paintings actually um, so these are the ones from Prince KE beautiful um, graphics and just like I really love this one and then this one is a Mutoma Deca piece and so up the wall they go final but there's actually nothing really final about this it's final for now <laughs> um so the paint the color what do I really think I have a I have a love dislike relationship with it I don't want to say hate because I don't think I actually hate it but there are moments where I look at it and I'm like uh, there's just something that's not quite where I want it to be with the color and actually that's why I only did two coats and not three. And you will see that some parts look a little bit patchy. You can see like right there, it looks a little bit patchy. It does need three coats and I do have enough paint for it, but I just, I'm not sure this is the final color. So I don't want to put a third coat before I, before I figure out what I want to do with this space. Um, the artwork that I talked to you guys about, uh, three of these prints are from prince.ke and like I said they were a PR product that I have absolutely fallen in love with I mean I just love them so much and I especially love this abstract like lines in the circle it's I just I I love it the print in the middle uh, that is Mutuamadeka, the icon, the photographer extraordinaire. Um, and he is, speaking of creatives and creativity, he is, I think, oh God, he is just one of the most creative people in this city, for sure. Like he is exceptional at what he does. Um, and that piece, if I remember correctly, it was named Lamu or something. I think it was called Lamu. And I mean, you guys know that Lamu is one of my favorite places in the world, if not the favorite. Uh, so I, <laughs> I just, I love it so much. And I've had this for so long, but I just never hang it up because I didn't know where to put it. But then as soon as I painted the wall, I knew, I knew it had to stay here. Um, I might move it at some point. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I do feel like it would look really good uh, by the door. And if there were like hooks for other bags to go up and the, like I have a vision in my head of where this painting is gonna go of this picture rather and then this basket is what used to hold my keys it used to sit on my console table but then it now lives on on the wall um, and where did I get this I got this from a vendor who was in Karen I just don't remember his name or his number but I'm sure you can get a lot of these at Maasai market because there's always vendors who are selling pieces like this okay now for the lighting I got this from glow lighting sorry about the noise I got this from glow lighting and they were actually the last two pieces that were available they literally had to take these off of the display because those are the ones that I fell in love with how much was it I think it was about 5,000 shillings was it yeah 5,000 shillings each <laughs> I really love them and I think they've added such a diff like they've made such a difference to this space. 
I had the artwork and the lighting installed by um, Link. And it was such an easy process. Like the whole, I, I couldn't believe just how easy and professional the whole process was. I think I paid like about less than a thousand shillings for the artwork to be put up and about a thousand three hundred for the electrician to come in and put the light. This light wasn't working. So he even, you know, fixed that up. Um, again, sorry for the noise. I don't know what's happening outside with the drilling, but I, I just, I just, you know, I feel really good about how this space has turned out. I'm not entirely sure I will leave it like this. I do feel like there are gaps that need to be filled. And maybe if I move out a little bit, you'll see what I mean. Like, hopefully they've stopped now. But as I was saying, I do feel like there are gaps. There are places where I could have more artwork or something to just something. Um, but for now, I think what... What I love so much about this project is that it's given me the, the push to go out and decorate my home. I don't know why I was so scared of getting everything right the first time. And that's not how life works. Like, I want to paint it. The color may not work, or it may. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. It, I'm not, I'm not sure. It, I don't know. It's like some moments I'm really into it, and then other moments I'm not sure. But... I've tried. I've tried. And even with the way that I've um, done my gallery wall, I do feel like it. there's more that could go up, but I don't want to overwhelm my space. So I'm not even sure I've done it right, but I've tried. And you know, if ever there was a time to take classes on interior decor, <laughs> it's now. So you're going to find me on Skillshare for sure. Um, again, I want to say a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And again, I want to remind you that I will leave a link in the description box um, because it's only 1,000 of you who get two months free trial of their premium membership. Um, all right, I want to say goodbye here. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you would like what you would add here. Maybe like floating shelves. Not sure. Maybe a mirror? I don't know. But let me know in the description box. For now, I'm gonna love you and leave you. And I will see you very soon. Bye! Oh, that's so true. I just had an aha moment. I just, I just had an aha moment. <laughs> I have to say this. Listen, she just said, I'm watching the Emily Henderson stylist author host style your space, creative tips and techniques for interior design. And she just said, when your friends or family walk into your home, do they recognize you in the design? Do they walk in and be like, oh yeah, this is, this is so Sharon. Or do they go in and be like, oh, okay, in interesting. Huh. Oh, okay.